Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com. I'm at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. And before we get started, I'd just like to ask you that if you do enjoy this video, please click the like button on YouTube, leave your comments on YouTube or my blog, and then um, feel free to share on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, StumbleUpon, or Google+. Okay, let's click here. This is the actual blog that I'm going to be creating the Facebook app or the Facebook application for. Okay, so this is the URL to the WordPress blog, WordPress website. So I'm just going to highlight that whole thing. I'm going to press Control C to copy if you're in a Mac, Command C. Now, these are social plugins, and in order to get these to work on your blog, you need to have a Facebook app, and I'm going to show you how to create that right now. So I'm going to click here. Now, this is the URL that you need to pay attention to. It says developers.facebook.com slash apps. Okay, now, on the left are apps that I've already created. Many of them are just for testing or practicing. Some of them are real. If this is your first time going to an, a Facebook app page, it's going to look different than this one. It's going to ask you or request permission to access some basic data. You're going to click the Allow button. Then you'll come to another page, and you'll see a button that says Create a New App, and that's what you're going to do. Just click that button. Type in the name of the app. Conventionally, typically, it's going to be the same name as the WordPress website that you're going to be installing the social plugins in or using the app on. So I'm just going to call this Jim's Max GXL team. Okay, there you go. You can see to the right there in green it says it's valid. I'll click there. Um, I'm going to click I agree. If you want to know what the policies are, click there. And then we'll click continue. Type in the CAPTCHA. For me, this is the most difficult part. If it's too difficult to read, you can click right there where it says Try Another Text. Click Submit. There you go. Now you have the app ID right there at the top and then the app secret. And certain plugins will require that information. And that's why you need to create this Facebook app in the first place. OK, it's under basic info. App display name is already filled in. You can skip app namespace. That's not important. Use a good contact email there. Skip app domain category. You can skip that. It's totally unimportant. Cloud services does not apply. And we're going to be using this Facebook app for a website, a WordPress website or blog. I'm going to, right here, paste in the URL or website address of the blog, which is Jim's Max GXL team. So that's Control V if you're in a PC. That's Control V as in Control Victor if you're using a PC. Con Command V if you're in a Mac. Okay, once you're done with that, you're just going to click Save Changes. It says up here, Changes Saved. Note that your changes may take several minutes to propagate to all the servers. I'm going to scroll up and down again. And that's basically all there is. Okay, you've just created a Facebook app or application that you'll use on this website, Jim's Max GXL Team. Now, if I just go back up here, I can get rid of that. I'm going to hit apps again. And you'll see that the app is listed and all that information you saw on the last page is right here. And this is the information, the app ID key and the app secret that you may need for certain social plugins that work with Facebook. And that's it and that's all. Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, click like. Leave your comments here on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, what have you. Take care and have a great day.